What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Spencer. Some new Jack, Queen, and Joker Knight, right? Is that <laughs> something like that? Uh, Jack's Knight, King's Knight, uh, King's Knight, Queen's Knight, right? That kind of support is out. So I'm gonna take a look at these two new cards, and then I'm gonna look at all the other cards. There's not that many. I think the f first initial wave outside of the the old monsters that Yugi used that have been in the game for a long time came out. And they were pretty bad. I don't really remember what their effects are too much. So we'll look at those. But here we go. Royal Straight. Interesting. That doesn't really exist in poker. It's Royal Flush. Uh, but okay. Uh, Slasher. Level 6 Light Warrior Effect. Cannot be Normal Summon. Must be Special Summon by the effect of Royal Straight. I don't know what Royal Straight is. Oh. Well, I guess we'll find out in a second. Uh, in any case. If King's Knight... If Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight are in your graveyard, you can send five monsters with different levels. Wow, five monsters with different levels and who levels are from one to five from your hand and or deck to the graveyard. And if you do, just and if you do, destroy all cards your opponent controls. So you get the Foolish Barrel of one, two, three, four, and five. Now, I don't know what the heck that really means, uh, but there's got to be some application for this. I don't, again, I don't know if that's good necessarily, but... Uh, I can't imagine there's not something, an infinite amount of possibilities with this, which is kind of bizarre. Also, I guess it's cool you get to destroy all cards because there's a quick effect, so. All right. When this card is destroyed by battle, you can target up to three Light Warrior monsters in your graveyard, special summon them, so. Only 2,400 attack kind of sucks. I wish it was like 3,000. Beggars can't be choosers, but 24 does seem quite low to me. I mean, I guess you are destroying all cards your opponent controls anyways. Um, but, okay. I mean, this is... I feel like I'm not missing something. I Like, this is a little easier to do. Like, it's way easier to do now, so... All right, we'll look at Royal Straight. Royal Flush. I hope it's called Royal Flush in real life, because I would buy this card for reals. Uh, you can send one each Queen's, King's Knight, and Jack Knight's from your hand and or face-up field to the graveyard. Then special summon one monster that lists all three in its text from your hand, deck, or extra deck, or graveyard. So you can summon this, and I think there's also some fusion. So it's kind of like a fusion spell as well, which is pretty darn neat. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the rest of the cards. No need to go over Jack's Knight's Vanilla. Everyone knows these. they're from Yugi's kind of thing. Uh, I don't have Queen's Knight here. I'll go ahead and look that up. Why not? Just to kind of complete the look. Queen's Knight. So, a couple of vanillas. Sucks. <laughs> uh, but you do have King's Knight. So, if this is a normal summon, why you control Queen's Knight, you get to special summon Jack from the deck. Which sucks as it doesn't say hand or deck. It has to, like, it means you essentially have to run two copies of this, uh, which is really bad. You're running a lot of bricks in this deck. Like, a lot of bricks. For and this is also very situational, but we'll look at the other ones in context to see, you know, if it's a little bit better. Okay, so this is Arcana Triumph Joker. So this one also is a target for the new Royal Flush card. Uh, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can send one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your hand or face up Monster Zone to the graveyard. Special summon this card. This card gains 500 attack times the combined number of cards in both players' hands. Kind of like a Slifer card. Interesting. Uh, you can discard one card, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls of the same type. It's weird. It's almost like a uh, like a macabre <laughs> in a way, if that makes sense, but at a different effect. I kind of like this card. Uh, it's, you can special summon it from the deck as well. I guess you probably wouldn't at this point because a new card destroys all cards. Uh, but I do. F maybe there's a way like this is usable. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but it does gain 500, so, like, you have four cards in your hand, maybe. You have, your opponent has four. Like, this could be a decent body to put on, potentially. And I think one of these cards lets you add a bunch of cards back to your hand as well. This is also counts. So you can, uh, for the new card, Joker's Knight. You can send one Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your deck to the graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, this card's name becomes the sent monster's name until the end phase. Which is great, because these stink. Uh, meaning that you probably can get away with playing one of these. Uh, no, you got to play two. You definitely have to. <laughs> During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one other light monster, warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. Uh, which is nice. So kind of works with this. I know this is supposed to be inadvertent slifer support as well. So I think they're trying to finally build. 
I wish all the Egyptian gods had their own thing because they don't they give them separate support, so that means their main deck, like there is no main deck Egyptian god support really, outside of a few cards that really suck. A few cards that normal summon themselves and don't allow you to normal summon the Egyptian gods during that turn. It's absolute boo-boo. Uh, so this kind of feels like you know, adding cards back to your hand, giving yourself advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is Imperial Bower. If you control no other monsters, you contribute this card. Take two different monsters from your deck among them. <laughs> among them. Uh, among Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight, and either add them to your hand or special summon each monster. This is cool for Slifer as well. Um, but you can't control any other cards. Um, which is which is actually great. So, but unfortunately, this this has to be normal summon. This card, I wish they would retrain it. That it would always be count as King's Knight. Because if this card was better, honestly, all of them deserve retrains in my opinion. But if this card at least was better, like the whole my whole like ideology of this changes. Uh, but right now, it's just eh. uh, this is face card fusion. Fusion summon one war, light warrior monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, or Jack's Knight, you can use one monster from your deck as fusion material. So as long as you have one of these, you can go into either one of these two. I don't know if either of these are good. Oh, it's actually the same as that card. They're just different arts. Uh, so we'll find out how good that is in a second. Actually, let's do it right now. <laughs> uh, so it requires all three of them. A fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above materials. Once per turn, when a spell trap or monster effect is activated that targets this face-up card, you can discard the same type and negate it. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> Uh, but it is a light warrior fusion. Um, so let's go ahead and see what else what else that could encompass because that's that's terrible. Uh, fusion light warrior. Hopefully, there's something good. Something I mean, there's just so many cards in the game, so it's so hard to like think off the top of your head. Like, oh yeah, that would be great. Light fusions. Uh, Okay, here are all the targets. I think a lot of them are hero monsters too. Um, some Claw of Hermo stuff, which is kind of cool, to be honest with you. Uh, although, never mind, it does require specific stuff. But these, I think, also do work with that. I'm not saying you would, but I remember one of these is actually pretty decent. Um, this allows you, it equipped, it can do twice piercing battle damage. This one, I think, banishes a card for a while, a monster. And then it can make a second attack. So, like, Goddess Bow is, like, it's all right. Uh, dual Avatar stuff. Six Samurai. Two. I think I need ones that are just generic, right? And I don't even know if that exists. If that's true, that would suck that they would do something. Like, they would create a fusion card for one of the worst fusions. Like, that's horrible. These are all the same attribute. I'm trying to go as fast as I can just to see anything. Um, yeah, this is Tamias. That's kind of terrible. Uh, okay, elemental. Two level five or higher warrior monsters. That doesn't work. Okay, well, in my mind, there's going to be a lot of stuff, but there isn't. So I guess we're going to have to wait until... Like, this card could be good. Like, maybe. We need more fusions for the three of these, not this card, which is awful. I mean, 3,800 attack, don't get me wrong, is a very good... It's going to be able to get over mostly anything, but the fact that it only protects itself from targeting doesn't do anything, like, that kind of sucks. All right. Uh, this is Joker Straight. You can discard one card, special summon one Queen's Knight from your deck, add one King's Knight or Jack's Knight from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, you can normal summon one monster, which is great. It gets all three of them out on the board. Uh, you can uh, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn, except Light Warrior monsters. During the end phase, when this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Light Warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card to your hand. Well, that's kind of nice. Just got to get, you just get to do it again, basically. Uh, this is Thunder Speed Summon. <laughs> Very dramatic. Uh, during the main or battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one level 10 monster, Slifer. If you control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and Jack's Knight, you can apply this effect instead. Add one level 10 of non-dark monster with question mark attack, Slifer, from your deck to your hand, then immediately after this effect resolves, normal summon one level 10 monster. So you get, it's, a, it's a searchable card for Sly for the Sky Dragon. Uh, there's probably other level 10s, which is kind of neat. Uh, there's got to be, I can't imagine there's not a bunch of like level 10 non-lights. So you can have fun with that. There's 241 cards where this kind of falls into. I didn't realize there was this many level 10 monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so I don't really know like all the possible applications of this card. 
but uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's non-dark, so I guess you could also search out the Winged Dragon of Raw. Like, uh, and yeah, there's there's a lot of cards, right? There's a lot of cards that you can do for this, and I think yeah, that's uh, all right. Uh, this is a trap card, Joker's Wild. During the main or battle phase, send one spell from your deck to the graveyard that specifically lists all three of them. This effect becomes that effect, so all of these. So you can fusion summon during your opponent's turn, which is fine. You can normal summon Slifer during your opponent's turn, which is fine. Uh, it's a little slow, but okay. During the end phase, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one light warrior monster in your graveyard, shuffle it into the deck, and if you do, add this card. So I really like that all of them do that. Again, keeping hand size is like the crux of what this deck is trying to do. And this is Co Court of Cards. If you control no monsters, or if you only control Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight, you can special on one King's Knight, Queen's Knight, or Jack's Knight from your hand or graveyard. You can banish up to each Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack Knight from your hand and or graveyard. Draw the same number of cards you banished. And then you get the special one from your hand or graveyard. And then draw. I don't know. Like... I feel like the, the other support does more than enough to like make like this condition. It ain't hard to do anymore, but uh, I like that they're trying to do this. But there definitely needs to be more fusions. There needs to be so many more that it's ridiculous. Um, I don't know what you guys think about all this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Other than that, that's gonna do it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next time.